We had important news earlier this week. Memo Choa got a haircut. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That wasn't the important news, man. The important news broke on Monday morning. And that is the Mexican Federation named El Tuca Ferretti. Yes. El Tuca Ferretti, the Tigres head coach, as the interim manager for the Mexican national team for the rest of the year, basically. They didn't say it like that, but they said for the upcoming two FIFA dates, the two, the two friendlies coming up uh, later this fall, one um, shortly here in, here in September against, against Uruguay, and also the one against the United States. But there are four other friendlies, aside from the two that I just mentioned, where... You know, El Tuca isn't 100% confirmed to manage El Tri on those on those friendlies, but he's basically there to buy them some time. What I really think is going on is that the Federation is just going to really try to convince Tuca to stay permanently in front of the Mexican national team. Now, how do we feel about this? First, let me know what your opinion uh, is about having El Tuca stay permanently. Yes, no, if not, who would be your name, your main guy, your main horse in the race to take the reins of El Tri? I know a lot of people wanted Almeida. They wanted Matias Almeida, but I think at this point we can scratch his name off the list. They're not gonna hire Almeida. I am almost positive. I mean, they would have already offered him the position, right? At this point. I think we could. I think it's safe to scratch his name off the list. No Almeida, I don't think. Uh, Herrera, I don't even think he was in consideration. Uh, Mohamed has been another name that's not happening. So, who is it? That is what the federation is is trying to find out. I, I, again, I think they're just really going to try to convince El Tuca. Now, here are my opinions on having El Tuca Ferretti stay permanently. I, I don't think I I don't think that is that's the best move. I don't think that's the best plan. Um, why? Why is that not the best plan? El Tuca has never expressed full on interest to take the reins of El Tri. He doesn't want the job. He said it many times before. He said he he said it a ton of times. And then he, you know, kind of opened the door to, to helping, you know, Mexico out and, and being the interim manager. He already did this in one occasion here. Uh, they announced him to do it again on Monday morning. But he doesn't actually want the job. He says it again. Yes, I'm the interim manager, but I'm not going to stay permanently. So, uh, you know, they promised me that I'm not going to, you know, that I they're going to try to find a replacement or a, a new manager soon. And I'm just here to, to help them out and to give back basically um so uh, he's never wanted the job another thing is el tuca is extremely extremely old school not only necessarily with his play style but a, a big criticism of his is his lack of willingness to accept to adopt to welcome technology into his project technology into football it's a new world now it's a new world and a guy that was a big proponent of that and in the total opposite from El Tuca Ferretti was Juan Carlos Osorio. Juan Carlos Osorio was all about, you know, the innovation and the, the latest technology and, and using that to your advantage and implementing that into your project. Yeah, now, Juan Carlos Osorio did get Mexico to the same exact spot that every, practically every other manager has gotten Mexico to in the World Cup, which is... An early exit in the round of 16 and not reaching the quinto partido. I'll give you that. But if you have not seen All or Nothing Manchester City, do yourself a favor. Watch that. If you have Amazon Prime, watch that series. See how Pep Guardiola and his coaching staff implement technology and how they use technology to better the team, to, to better their game, to analyze the opponent, to see their weaknesses, to find potential chinks in their armor. It's it, it's it's different, man. It, it kind of opens your eyes and says, yeah, this is it's another game, man. Football today is is different. You have so much technology, a tablet, a, a smartphone. You could you can do so many things with it. Why not use it to your advantage? Now, Tuca, a common criticism is that he, he won't do that, man. You, you try to give him a tablet and he's like, no, get, get this away. I, this, this is not how I coach. And it's, it's respectable at some point because really, you know, sure, Manchester City, they have some of the best players in the world. That's, that's not Mexico. Mexico doesn't have some of the best players in the world. So 
you know, implementing technology into a project with the Mexican national team might might not even do much, I guess some people would say, but it can't hurt. It really, really can't hurt. So um, I don't know. I wish after seeing all or nothing Manchester City and seeing how the coaching staff uses technology to analyze opponents and uses technology to help them, to help themselves get better. And I really, really doubt El Tuca Ferretti is, is, is willing to, to do that. So anyways, man, that's just my, my two cents. I don't hate El Tuca Ferretti or anything like that. I think he's, he's the best coach that Liga MX has to offer. But there is something else out there other than just Liga MX. There are other coaches with very interesting projects that, that fill in all of the criteria that the Federation may be, may be looking for. I just don't think Tuca Ferretti is the main one that, that the Federation should be going after, but they, they probably will. So anyways, thank you guys for listening. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.